A vehicle is really an extension of your personality. Any gearhead that you ask, they will go on hours and hours and hours about their vehicle. It's your own project. You know everything about it. Every nut, every bolt, everything that you've modified and changed. How many rams do you see on the road every single day and that you can't tell them apart? And, and that's where customizing really comes in. It's a passion. Hi, I'm Justin Krem and I am a what am I am again? <laughs> I don't know, what am I? Hey, I'm Justin Krem. I am an avid off-roader and automotive enthusiast. You know what, I attribute most of that to my dad. He uh, was a big influence on me. I remember going to car shows and him teaching me stuff about engines and pointing at engines and saying, hey, what's this? And testing me and driven go-karts when I was a kid, eight, nine, 10 years old. It was one of those things where you just see it and you latch onto it and passion and a, and a lifestyle that really stuck out to me. My very first car was a $200 Hyundai Pony with a blown up engine, 14 years old. I basically rebuilt the motor by myself. Uh, my first truck was a 1993 Dodge Dakota. It was, uh, had a body lift and some 31s on it. It was a lot of fun, um, but I've had many other vehicles since. My current vehicle is actually sitting right behind us here. 2021 Jeep Gladiator. It's a project vehicle. It's always in a state of, of being built. 2022 is gonna be a fun year. Uh, new tires, like 38s, re-gearing, all the adjustable control arms, adjustable track bars, trussing the front diff, trussing the rear diff, seat gusseting. I would love to Hellcat swap that or, or Hemi swap it and go wild and crazy. You know, like they say, it's never done. Especially a Jeep. You're never done building a Jeep. As a kid in high school, I was part of our race car team. I was one of the, the founding students, I guess you could say. Work on the race car, got a chance to drive it. Yeah, it, it, was, uh, it was two seasons. Uh, I pit crewed on a pro street car, you know, so an uh, eight second car and a quarter mile. You know, packing parachutes, changing oil and building the car and then it was a really fun experience. It taught me a lot, a really cool thing to look back on and, and say that you did. <laughs> Uh, you know what, I am a Dodge fan through and through, well before I ever worked for Dodge. It, it was my first tattoo, um, so yeah, my flaming ram's head is a bit of a testament to, uh, you know, my passion for Dodge vehicles, and you know, it turned into car parts and flaming pistons and all kinds of other fun stuff, and there'll be a lot more coming here pretty soon. You know, everything from country to rock to hard rock, metal. Uh, I'm just a huge music fan and, uh, you know, it, it's a huge passion of mine. Cars and music, it's always been like that. I played in a few bands. My main band wasn't actually a metal band, it was more of a radio rock. It was probably some of the most exciting times of my life. A, a real lifestyle that not a lot of people get to experience. You know, recording albums, touring across Western Canada winning Vancouver Seeds, playing the Commodore, and just a, a crazy time. So I've been off-roading for a long, long time. So a lot of my 4x4ing adventures are on the back of a quad. And I had an accident a few years ago where I broke my ankle. You know, since then I've still been quadding that type of thing, but you know, having a, a vehicle that you're inside and, and a little bit more comfortable. And uh, when, when you're out in the back country, you could be 50, 100 kilometers out. There's no cell service. So we want people to be equipped. We want them to be safe, to be ready for anything that nature throws at them. I think getting out into the wilderness is, it's, the best way to put it. It's therapy. The, the big city is, is busy all the time and as they say, you know, nature is therapeutic. The 4x4 community is a very tight community. You know, there's a lot of people that absolutely love Jeeps, they love Toyotas. You know, we love to tease each other but uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's about getting out into the into the wilderness and exploring and, and and keeping the passion alive. You know, the name Tag Customs probably came to be around 2008, 2009, 2010 is when I broke out from the parts department and was strictly just running Tag Customs. 
Yeah, in the beginning, it was just me sitting at a desk. Nothing like it was now. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we did was just, you know, basic lift kits and wheels and tires and that type of thing, dressing vehicles up. And uh, eventually, it managed to grow into multiple people. So we've got a couple people up at the desk now. We've got some technicians. Our goal is to expand and get into a larger shop. As we've grown, we, we've learned what works, what doesn't work, and, and sometimes what can cause more problems, because we've tried it, exactly. <laughs> Uh, my biggest goal is to build a vehicle and get it down to SEMA. That would uh, be on my bucket list for sure. Yeah, we'd love to build the craziest, wildest vehicles that you can possibly think of. A few years back, we built a Ram 3500 8-inch uh, lift and some 40-inch tires. Had it all deckled up and had it at the car show. Uh, that was probably the largest vehicle that we'd ever built, and it definitely caught a lot of attention at that car show. I, I think we're about building people's dreams, honestly. There's so many people out there that, that love vehicles, but they don't know where to start. And that's why we're here, guide you through that process of twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 build or, or you know, a couple thousand dollars wheels and tires and that type of thing. It, it's, it's all what you want to do, what you want to build. And it doesn't have to cost a fortune to go out wheeling, right? You know, you don't have to drive a vehicle like that to, to get out into the wilderness, you know? And that's kind of the idea of, of Tag Custom, whether you want to just do a leveling kit on your truck with a little bit larger tire, uh, or whether you want to go crazy and, and go wilder than that. You know, the, the, we're here to do it. We're here to guide you and help you. And uh, it's, it, it's a blast. If you're a crazy off-road enthusiast like I am and you want to build a custom vehicle, like, subscribe, love the channel, and you won't regret it. Smash that subscribe button. Is it up or down? Don't subscribe, you won't like it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We've got a ton more content coming our way. Your way, my way.